shaken. I know everybody here was shaken yeah. uh, this week. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the news on uh, Rasul Butler. Um, who died in a one-car auto accident, mm -hmm. he and his wife Leah, and Rasul Butler, only 38 years old. Uh, and you guys all know him. And, and yeah, I played with him in Miami. <clears throat> Great kid, always worked hard. You know, was just a special guy. You know, we stayed in touch over the years. So uh, Jerome called me yesterday with the news, and it just, just shook me up. But uh, you know, great guy. My condolences go out to, to his family, and uh, he definitely will be missed. But he was a, a great guy. Philadelphia worked hard, followed his dream, became an NBA player. Such a, a tragic story. Yeah. yeah, just sad. You know, anytime something happens in the NBA family, it touches us all. Uh, I'm not going to act like we were great friends. I met him uh, quite a few times in passing. And just a really nice, humble kid, part of that Philadelphia family. And my condolences to him and his, and his wife's family also because she's kind of, you know, people what he mentioned in the beginning. And I want to give my condolences to her family. Yeah, uh, tragic too soon. Uh, condolences to the family, you know, obviously. Due to the NBA family, we've we've always uh, rubbed shoulders with uh, Rasul and understood, you know, his journey to the NBA, how he stayed around, and he was always brought to teams. And this is how you know that somebody's a, a good person. He was always brought to teams at the end of his career to be the veteran leader to help guys along and show them how to be professionals. Because usually yeah, guys but, don't... But all those teams need, and they say, well, we need some veteran, we, some leadership. veteran we leadership. We need that presence. We need that presence. Yeah. And he was always the guy that they would call on, or one of few that they, they would call on to be that. So that was that was a mark of showing what type of person that he was. And, um, you know, just a tragic, tragic yeah. loss for, for he and his wife. Last time I saw him was at the... Um, the NBA award show in New York yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah. He had, oh. And he had come up and said, let's take a picture. And he put it on Instagram with just some nice thoughts on there. And that was like, uh, you, you just you don't know. You don't know, man. Uh -uh. And, and um, yeah, it was just, it's just, when I look at that, I'm just like, man, you just, uh, you're, 38 years you're not old. guaranteed the next minute uh, in, in, your, in your life. And he was, uh, you know, as, as you pointed out, his influence as a 14-year vet in the league, eight different teams he played for, but class every step of the way. And uh, so many folks uh, uh, impacted so much by what he was able to do in his career as a number 53 pick. And, uh, and Rasul Butler parlaying that into a 14-year NBA career. Rest in peace, Sul Bup. They were uh, remembering him tonight in Washington, uh, one of the stops on his 14-year uh, career. In fact, he played for both Toronto and the Washington Wizards in the course of his